The Battle of Yangping, also known as the Battle of Yangping Pass, was fought between the warlords Cao Cao and Zhang Lu from roughly April 215 to January 216 during the late Eastern Han Dynasty of China. The battle concluded with a victory for Cao Cao. Chapter 1 Background Sometime between 17 April and 15 May 215, Cao Cao launched a campaign against Jiang Lu in Hongzhong Commandery. When Cao Cao's army arrived at Cheng Kang and was about to pass through Wudu, the Di tribes in the area blocked their path, so Cao Cao sent Jiang He, Zhu Ling and others to attack the Di and clear the way. Between 16 May and 14 June 215, Cao Cao's army passed through San Pass and arrived at Hucha. The Di king, Do Mao, led thousands of tribesmen to resist Cao Cao, but Cao defeated them by the following month, and he massacred the Di population. Ku Yen, Zhang Shi and other generals from Xiping and Jincheng commanderies killed Han Sui and sent his head to Cao Cao. Between 13 August and 10 September 215, Cao Cao's forces reached Yangping Pass after making a long and arduous journey through mountainous terrain. When his soldiers started complaining, Cao Cao announced that he would remember them for their contributions to encourage them to move on. Chapter 2 The Battle Zhang Lu ordered his younger brother Zhang Wei and officer Yang Anj to lead troops to defend the pass. Zhang Wei and Yang Anj had defensive structures built in the mountainous areas, spanning over Ten Li, to deter Cao Cao's advances. Cao Cao was unable to overcome the enemy after launching assaults, so he withdrew his forces. Zhang Lu's men lowered their defenses when they saw Cao Cao retreating. Cao Cao gave secret orders to Shi Biao and Gao Zuo to lead a sneak attack on the enemy at night and they achieved success. Yang Anj was killed in action while Zhang Wei fled under the cover of night. Chapter 3 Aftermath Zhang Lu retreated to Bazhong when he heard that Yangping Pass had been taken. Cao Cao's army occupied Nanzheng, the capital of Hongzhong Commandery, and seized the precious items stored in Jiang Lu's treasuries. The people in Hongzhong surrendered to Cao Cao, who then renamed the place to Hongzhong from its previous name Hanning. Cao Cao separated Anyang and Xicheng counties from Hongzhong and placed them under the jurisdiction of Xicheng Commandery and appointed an administrator to oversee the commandery. He also partitioned Xi and Shangyong commanderies and appointed commandants to govern those areas. Between 11 October and 8 of November 215, the tribal king Pu Hu and Du Huo, the Marquis of Kongyi, led the people in Baiyi and Kong to submit to Cao Cao. Cao Cao split Bar commandery into Beidong and Baxi commanderies and appointed Pu Hu and Du Huo, who also received Marquis titles, as their administrators respectively. Emperor Shen also granted Cao Cao the authority to confer titles upon the nobles and officials in the area. Between 9th of December 215 and 6th of January 216, Zhang Lu led his followers out of Bazhong and came to surrender to Cao Cao. Cao Cao accepted their surrender and granted Marquis titles to Zhang Lu and his five sons. Around the time, Lu Bei had recently seized control of Yi province from its governor Lu Zhang and occupied Bazhong after Zhang Lu left. Cao Cao ordered Zhang He to lead a force to attack Lu Bei, but Zhang He was defeated by Lu's general Zhang Fei at the Battle of Baxi. Between 7 January and 5 February 216, Cao Cao left Nanzheng and headed back to Yi, leaving behind Xia Ho Yuan to guard Hongzhong. Chapter 4 In Popular Culture the battle is featured as a playable stage in Koei's video game Dynasty Warriors 5, Extreme Legends and Dynasty Warriors 7 as well in Warriors Orochi 3.